Hello, Internet. It's Chris Krug checking in from the Next Media Conference here in BAMP. I'm with Maria Hale from TELUS, and she's the VP of content there. How's it going today, Maria? Yeah, it's going great. I caught your uh, Canadian digital media giant panel this morning, and uh, it was really great. I like some of the points you're making about um, focusing more on the digital space and not making it just a web-centric uh, approach. Can you tell me a little bit more about that idea? Yeah, so really I still think, you know, in 2008 the conversation is still really focused on the web and what can the Internet do for broadcasting, and I think you know, in, in my position now, having spent most of my career in web and working with a, with a broadcaster at Chum, uh, managing their digital assets, I think in 2008 we need to elevate the discussion to be more about really why are we doing all this, go back to first principles, um, because in, in being at TELUS and understanding sort of b uh, across screen, so mobile, uh, broadband and TV, it's really about the audience experience, right? And so looking at not just creating a web-centric view of what we want to be doing, but really sort of saying, listen, what are we trying to do here? I think it's all about creating a more on-demand experience for the audience around different shows and let's figure out a way that we can do that uh, seamlessly that still has a business model. Right, so you were talking a lot about PVR and video on demand and, it, it, and um, you know the web offers that but you're saying that there's a better approach through the kind of some of the TELUS models in terms of giving people what they want. Um. Yeah, I think the struggle with the web is the business model. So how do you acquire the rights? How do you then monetize those rights? Uh, how, you know, broadcasters are putting in and spending millions of dollars on infrastructure right. to make it all available. And I think if we sort of look at the, you know, the, the distributors, the BDUs, like TELUS, and sort of say, okay, how can we be contributing to enhancing the existing broadcast uh, uh, model and uphold the Broadcasting Act within Canada? And there's things at our disposal, like network PVR, where things sit on the network and allow people to access on-demand content via their TV screen in a way that uh, maintains the integrity of the existing advertiser or rights right. uh, market, marketplace. How are you guys at TELUS going to bring the web into that, though, without leaving it behind and focusing just on the network there? Yeah, so, I mean, the web is part of the network, right? So when we go into the home, it's all about the bandwidth into the home, so w what you're doing with different uh, different media. Um, so the web itself, I think Web 2.0 and all of the aspects that you can get there to enhance and deepen a relationship with your audience, I think is great, and that it will remain a web uh, experience in the short term for sure. I think the things when you're talking about video streaming, I think that you know still is a better experience on TV if we can figure out how to do that, yep. uh, in, in, uh, how do we do that on demand uh, in a seamless way? So it's not leaving the web out. So it's really just making sure that you're using the media the way the medium the way it needs to be utilized and the way it's meant to be utilized. I think going down the road. So tell me just a little bit about how you interact with digital media yourself personally. What do you what do you do online, or what type of digital media do you consume? Yeah, so uh, I don't really look at a lot of video content. I think the, the big video piece that I looked at recently was Oprah's um, A New Earth. Yeah. I love that. Conceptually, I went to it for, for the concept to sort yeah. of say, you know, 800,000 people online at the same time asking questions via Skype and, and, and uh, via the, the, the interface that they had created and, you know, the whole team of people she had working to make that happen and the actual content itself, looking at how they... Uh, uh, use, tried to use a traditional ad model to break up the content, which I don't think really worked because yeah. it's such a captive lean forward experience that every time they cut to commercial, you're like, <laughs> this is not working, yeah. right? I mean, that's a broadcast model, and you know, at least they're trying things, and they have sponsors to pay for everything, but uh, I think it still needs some work. So for me, I use the web, and Google's the place I go, right? So I have iGoogle on the screen. Uh, you know, it gives me the information that I need every time I log into my browser, and I'm able to get to where I want to go quickly. Um, and generally, it's information searching uh, yeah. for me. I watch my TV on yeah. TV. Do you have an online guilty pleasure you want to tell the Internet about? Online guilty pleasure. Ooh, I haven't thought about that one. I think for me it'd be uh, ego surfing my name on Google. <laughs> no, for me, I think it's shopping. I do everything. Yeah. I, I'm a big e-commerce pro, uh, commerce online. Boxes showing up every day. You this, don't remember exactly, your order. Exactly. Yeah. The simplicity yeah. of all that. Like I go on a trip and my kids want a toy, so I pre-order it because I'm never going to find it in yeah. Banff. And so when I get home, it's there. Oh, and that's great. I look like <laughs> I thought of them. But um, So I think commerce uh, online is really a, a great answer for the, the, the working working moms and dads. How about a couple uh, words of wisdom to you know independent artists, content creators, producers who are looking to break into uh, the digital media giant's world and get their stuff out there? Yeah, we're all, I was gonna say, we're all kind of midgets still in the space. Uh, I'm humbled by the title, but um, uh, Mike Hennessy, our head of regulatory, created a paper and he said, you know, we're still at the beginning, right? Yeah. And we feel like we're in the middle, but we're still really at the beginning. So my advice is really hire people uh, that are not linear in the way they think, that, that can think laterally, build on what Bill Buxton spoke about this morning, and, and really saying utilize these tools, because these tools are not expensive, and you do have the ability now, unlike any time before, to reach audiences, right. you know? So you're not ha driven by these linear TV channels that are you know, tied to a 24-hour day schedule, yeah. and you can really do some great things. So I would say hire the right people, think out of the box, and really look at it from the perspective of your audience and what you want to be delivering as opposed to sort of saying what can this technology piece do and how does it fit just focus on the audience and I think you'll you'll, you'll go far yeah always good advice thanks a lot Maria uh, Chris and Maria signing out from next media at BAMF